Well, good morning, folks and people. I'm out here. Look at that behind me. I might have some rain coming my direction. I don't know for sure. I'm not going to fish very long today. We're going to keep it short and sweet because it's definitely supposed to be a real good chance of rain after 11 or 12 o'clock. I'm out here by myself putting in at St. Mary's. Uh, we're going to go out. I got a pint of shrimp, like I said, so it's going to be a short day. I'm going to show you this boat out here. It looks pretty cool. We'll get out there and do it. Let's do it. Let's catch some fish today. Yep, I had a plan this morning. And uh, when I saw that over there, all that dark sky, my plans went completely out of the window. <laughs> Uh, that's all right though. That's fishing. Change your plans. I'm gonna start off with a jig, which is not normally what I do. But um, we've caught a flounder or two right here, and I'm just kind of interested to see if I can run across one. I wouldn't mind keeping a flounder today. I got some fish in the uh, refrigerator, but I don't have any flounder. best flounder spot is over there where all that rain looks like it's coming or going hope oh, going not coming well I threw my jig a little bit got my shrimp out first cast with the shrimp of course you know Nice trout. Nice keeper size trout. But I'm not keeping the day lucky for him. It's your lucky day, fella. I mean, not the luckiest day you ever had, but luckier than it could have been. You just knew what could happen to you. I'd be happy with that result. Yeah, it could have been worse for that guy. Of course, right after that, I knocked my coffee over in the bottom of the boat, but not much spilled. So it could have been worse for me too. I've been seeing a lot of bait coming right through here. So I'm hoping uh, these trout are kind of setting up in here, waiting on all this bait to flush out of here. So my float's there, my sinker's there. That's how deep it is right now I have to adjust it I have to kind of find out what the where they want it and of course the water level is dropping because the tide's going out so as the water level drops you know you have to adjust your, your uh, float and weight all right Oh, dang it. Oh. Trying to maneuver around a little bit here and figure out what's going on because it kind of went dead there for a little bit. I just lost a fish. It's all right, though. There's something on my jig. What it is. Seems like a trout. It is. Nice trout. Another keeper size trout. Move locations. Uh, I'm kind of between tides right now. It's kind of really slowed down. I don't know when tide's supposed to start coming in, but uh, I got a shrimp floating around out there, and then I got this jig right here, and that's a gulp uh, bait. Kind of a fluke style gulp bait. I had two good hits right there when I threw that. Let's try to go right back to the same spot. I had, I had a hit and it got off and then I caught that fish. So maybe there's some trout out there. Let's see. I hope the 
trout that we've been running across the last few trips have not been in big schools. It's just like a, you know, a few here and there. So either the bait, either they just hadn't bunched up yet or the bait's not bunched up, I don't know. But usually by this time of year, it's a little more, um, a little more consistent than what it's been. Decent trout. Well, just every once in a while, a trout will come by. This, this uh, current is just now changing to the incoming tide coming in good. So I'm hoping, <clears throat> so I'm hoping that this is going to get them going here for a little bit. Feels like another one about the same size. Bullet. actually a little smaller than what I've been catching. My float was sideways, that's why I felt like it was pulling more. Right in that area. draw right there I cannot say it enough times if you're fishing here and you get a bite in some certain little spot it may seem like there's nothing to it or whatever you don't really understand why there was a fish there throw back in that spot do not just assume that was just a lucky uh, you know lucky situation go right back to that spot these fish school. Really try to pay attention to where you got the hit. See, that time I think I threw past where I got those last two hits. So I'm going to reel it in a little bit. Let it start again. Let it drift again. about jerk my pole in the water right then. I don't know that it was a trout though. Oh, something. couple have been a little smaller than what I was catching but I'm not catching a lot so I'm happy with it this water's really starting to come in now good I anticipate things getting better and better yes, sir big 
you've got him. I don't know what it is, maybe a shark. Definitely not acting like a trout, but I mean it could be, but it ain't acting like one. It's acting like a shark. shrimp. Nothing. A little greedy. Now you see what greed will get you. It'll get you hooked. What it'll do. It'll get you hooked, reeled into the boat. Not sure about this. I don't know if it's a trout or a shark. I'm getting a lot of head shakes. That's that's a good sign. trout. Not a bad day. I didn't get it. See if I can't get it this time for y'all. Doing this for y'all. For you. That time I got him. Feels like a trout. Getting smaller. You're about to go free, buddy. See you later. Got him. I got another ladyfish again. 90% sure. about this one.
I'll throw my, uh, my other it's a big one. I'll throw my other pole here. It'll have your weight, have your sinker. Maybe I can track the trout by slowing it down a little bit, letting it get on the bottom a little bit better. As these lady fish are definitely up off the bottom. They like stuff on top usually. If I can get it just a little bit down there with this heavy sinker and heavy float. Maybe that'll help me out. Got it a little deeper on the bottom. I mean, it's not on the bottom, but it's further down in the water. You know, so the ladyfish are not looking up at it as much. And look at here. Best trout of the day. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't. All right, I got one other spot. I want to hit, see if I can catch a flounder before I leave. If I don't, thanks for watching. If I do, stay tuned. There, and the wind's starting to pick up, so let's head to the house, guys. Eat a little lunch. Thanks for watching.